This is Real Ant, a 3D printed robot with four legs and zero clue about the world around it. Even though it doesn't know how its own body works, it can learn to walk in under 10 minutes. How does Real Ant do it? Reinforcement learning, a trial and error approach widely used by AI and robotics researchers. Reinforcement learning has often been seen in simulation environments, but today I'm meeting a team of researchers to see how it can be brought into the real world, as complex as it is. Walking seems so easy to us, but thinking of all the movements four legs can possibly do, walking is a very particular sequence of things that the legs has to do. So in the beginning, it has completely no idea how to move its legs, so it's moving all of its joints in a completely random way. So it tries out a lot of things, and by chance it comes across motions that makes it move forward. It does that more frequently and frequently. When real ant succeeds in moving forward, it gets a reward, encouraging it to keep exploring that path. No need to buy treats though. The rewards for the robot are just numbers. The higher the number, the faster it walks. You might wonder why we'd want to bring this trial and error approach into the real world. It all comes down to its adaptability to different kinds of conditions. You can adapt to different types of terrain, different types of changes in the environment. The, the track gets slippery, for example. Or then changes in the limbs, like you, you lose a leg. Well, in theory then, a reinforcement learning algorithm could adapt to even that like learn to like walk on tree legs. What's really cool is that the robot is completely open source, making it available for researchers, tinkerers and students. I wanted to make it easier for reinforcement learning researcher to start with a relatively inexpensive uh, robot platform so that they don't need to learn electronics, uh, mechanical design and the software side that comes with designing new robots. That there is a robot that they can immediately start to work on and it will, won't break in the first try. Anyone can build the real ant robot with a little help from a 3D printer and some basic components from electronic suppliers. The parts for the current version cost less than 400 euros. The research team is making improvements on the robot, giving it more freedom to explore. We are in the process of putting more sensors on the robot to give it some senses, like vision, and a set of cameras for it to see its surroundings and track its own movement. The, the first goal is to actually sort of like break free from the lab, so to say. To actually be able to, to take the real ant, like bring it out in the forest, let it explore various types of terrain, maybe giving it a, an arm to pick blueberries in the forest. Ooh, so next summer maybe blueberry picking with a real ant. <laughs> maybe not next summer, but... Uh... <laughs>